Hey there, Zip here. Today's video is from, I mean, <laughs> what's going on everyone? District here, and today we got another reaction video for you guys this morning. Today, instead of doing our traditional rank duel, instead what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be reacting to Zip's videos on YouTube. Now, if you guys don't know, Zip is an awesome creator here on the platform, and basically what he does is he compiles all of the best clips from all of the best players across the world and compiles them into one daily montage. His videos are what I actually use almost every single day to continue to better myself. You know, you can't always be practicing in game. You can't always be training and, you know, doing new movement tech in the range, putting in the hours. But what you can do while you're relaxing, you can hop on the tube of the Ube and you can look at lots of really good players and try to kind of like analyze yourself what players are doing and why they're doing it. And that's what I do almost every single day when I'm relaxing or when I'm trying to take a break and give my hands some time to rest and recover. I hop on YouTube and I actually watch Zip's montages of all of these pro players and I try to break down in my head why this pro player backed away, why they decided to stay where they were, why they didn't heal when they're hurt, why they did heal when they weren't that hurt, why they pushed, why they didn't push, why they shot, why they didn't shot. I basically, I watch their clips and I try to think to myself, why did they do what they did and when I start to figure it out it helps me continue to develop my skills as an individual and especially as a coach because I can go okay so when this is happening we need to make sure that we're doing this today like I said instead of reacting to random players and breaking down their clips for you guys to better understand if you should or shouldn't do those kind of things what we're gonna do instead today is we're gonna be breaking down pro players clips all thanks to you zip I love you man dude honestly big shout out if you guys aren't subbed to zip already go and check him out he posts almost daily uploads and they are all freaking bangers now let's hop right on into this video starting off with zip's first public or i guess community clip he always he always does this really awesome thing where he puts a like a community clip in the beginnings of like all of his videos gpa festy okay let's see what the dude sent us now i usually like watching these beginning clips or um you know kind of like i'll call them like nobody clips instead of like pro players right because one they're usually not bad clips and two it's players who show a good fundamental as as to how to play but maybe their mechanical skill isn't quite there right so again this is like a, these are usually pretty good clips to kind of see what is going on um okay inside uh, apex legends and how to properly key, play right off the rip kind of have some good awareness or some good mentality into positioning and trying to catch players. They push your awareness here. Good movement. Good aim. Is a controller player, but that you know that shouldn't really matter all that much. Nice. Good. Creates a nice reset, recovery, and then looks to re-engage and is making plays instead of reacting. Oh, nice hold. Got him. Let me zip. I'm gonna turn you down a little bit, homie. And a nice little warm up. Now, I haven't seen any of these clips today, so these are all going to be fresh reactions. Something that I really like about this clip in specific is that this player is constantly on the prowl. He's always typically being the one who's making plays against the other team instead of reacting to what that team is doing. So if we kind of back this up really quick, something that instantly kind of clicks in my head, right, is... He sees that, oh, players are moving through the open. Awesome. He's looking to do damage. And then as he does damage, he takes himself out of the gunfight. Some, If you guys haven't seen some of, you know, my coaching videos on YouTube, or if you haven't seen any of, like, the, the reaction videos that I do in general, right, one of the most important things is as you're doing damage, it's actually really important to take yourself out of that gunfight. Because if you continue to stay in the open, you're opening your body up to continuously take lots of damage. By doing damage and backing off, you're able to put in damage, bring their health down, take yourself out, keep your health up. So this is a great way of just being able to keep fighting by keeping your health up. Instantly, right? He's reloading, he's recovering, he's trying to get back into the fight. Okay, I actually uh... like how he does a wall jump here. He gathers information as to what's happening. He knows, okay, a team's pushing, I have to peek here. Or, oh, they're playing back, so I can kind of keep poking, and then if I get damage, maybe then I move up. Something that I don't like, though, is that he uses this wall jump to get the info, but it puts him all the way out here in the open. I guess. Look at how far he is. Imagine if this player actually can shoot straight. Now, not only is he going to take damage moving out 
or rather out into the open, but now he's also going to take damage moving back into cover. Potentially. Doesn't mean that he is, but he could. Also, really good shots right there. Three wingman shots back to back. That's dope. Brings himself back to cover. More information. Saws that person. Saws? Saw that person pushing. Gonna engage and off that damage he's pushing up. Nice. Catches the next guy. Right? Kind of brings himself back into cover. Again. Nice. He's putting in damage. Bringing their health down. He's backing up. Keeping his health up. Now right here he obviously tried to hit a wall jump. He kind of missed it. It happens. We all make mistakes. Yeah. Cool. Back off. Reset. Recover. If he kept fighting right here, he's going to open his body up to take lots of damage. It's really cool to see he took himself out of that fight. Keeps his health up. And then, again, lift up. Instead of waiting to see what the caustic does, he's just going to make a play. I'm going to lift up. I'm going to get an angle. I'm going to throw my ult. And then I'm going to play off of my ult. That ult, one, is going to disorient him. It's going to kind of discombobulate him. He's going to be able to start moving up for free through the open, a very vulnerable position. Because this caustic is going to be focused on breaking the ultimate, trying to get away from it, or something of that nature. So this is going to give him the chance to kind of do what he wants to do. Now, it is very clear that this guy doesn't have a pro controller. Simply because all of his inputs, you can kind of notice, or, and he also doesn't play claw. All of his inputs kind of go from one into the next instead of doing them together. You notice how he's going to kind of like throw his ultimate and then nothing happens. He doesn't even turn. And then he swaps his gun, and then he, he doesn't turn, and then he starts to turn late. It's because he has to take his thumb off of the thumbstick, to the button, back to the thumbstick. It makes for, like, you can still be a good player with a regular controller and playing with, like, a regular grip, but this moment that you learn claw, or the moment that you switch to a pro controller, now you can look around while reloading, look around while swapping, Ooh, nice look one. around while doing everything. Right, so he's going to, like, jump, or he's going to, like, do something, and then he just won't be able to turn his crosshair. Nice, right here, the caustic wasn't looking. Basti made an awesome play, running through the open and capitalizing off of no one looking at him. Come on, come on. Nice. Really good play. Really good stuff, really good stuff. They're on it, they're on it, they're on it. Oh, First they're from split. One's in the pills to the left. Nice, if one's on pills on the left, then we can focus hey, 90, that 90 guy. on Horizon, she's so and split from her team. Him, her teammates are on the crafter. And if we can really focus this guy. At least guy. one's on the crafter. Oh, Timmy's dead. Bro. Bang dead. Nice. Keep the pressure on. We want to make sure that even though we're kind of in a losing situation, we want to keep the pressure on right here. Bro, how? What the fuck, man? I would be... Dude, <laughs> dude if I was designed right now, I would actually be so pissed too that my team somehow lost that fight. Insane. Oh my god! We're dying the fucking SQ, man! Uh, I'm gonna fucking retire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. I, dude, I love Design Rage. I love when Design Rage is. He, he gets heated, bro. Even more than how. Okay, right off the They're rip. On They're on it. They're on it. How? Design actually gave a bad call. Because he said that at least two are on the crafter. The crafter, if we look at the map, bro, is way over here. And the guy that they're trying to focus is way over here. But his teammates were running on the bridge towards over here. Which means that, yeah, he's a solo in this very moment. But he's not going to be a solo five seconds from now. Because it's only going to take five seconds to go from bridge to pill. Oh, they're going to split. One's in the pills to the left. Unless that guy on the bridge is this guy. Right here. Awesome. Design got damage. Perfect. 90, 90 on horizon. Right? So that horizon is now going to back off, take themselves out of the fight. That horizon, unless they get on the roof or unless they get into a position where they can see what's happening and start peaking design and the team to hold them off, this team here is going to be able to just walk up for free. Right? A really big issue is that I don't think they really... And she's so split from her team. Her teammates are on the crafter. It, it just, it was such a far distance for them to cross that by the time they got there, it wasn't a good fight anymore. At least one's on the crafter. Right here, awesome. Design, because there's so much in his face, realistically, he should be putting himself into a position to see what's going on. Height right now would be absolute god tier. He can lift up, see what's happening, give callouts, players playing here, players playing there, play on this tall thing right here. I, forget, I don't even know what this is, this wall. Because you can stand on this and you can shoot from here. Right, right now, he's completely obstructing his view. All this he can't see, all this he can't see, he can't see because of the building. 
right? If he lifts up one, he can see everything, he can shoot, and he can all and he can throw nades, and he can control what's happening. Timmy might not have died if Design was actually looking. Like this whole time, like like Design is calling out, hey, I did damage, let's make sure that we're pushing off of this. Timmy's trying to put in damage. Evan or Verhols is trying to put in damage, and Design is the only one who's not. So Design actually hard through in this clip here. Really good damage. That was awesome. Plays height. Nice. He sees this. Again, realistically, he shouldn't have dropped onto this Newcastle. Yeah, he might have been able to get like a really easy kill if he gets into the back right here. Okay, but he doesn't. Right? And then he just stays there and allows this guy to kind of just get on top of him. Right? If Design had just literally simply landed on the roof, even, like again, like we don't know if this, this new castle is going to have like a purple knockdown shield or a white knockdown shield. We can't control that. Maybe, maybe it's a gold. We have no idea. Right? But if we can just get on the roof, at least now we're not going to be committed to taking this fight. We can do damage from here. Oh, it's a white knock. I can hard push. Oh, it's a purple. I got to back off. Again, also, he's got a fucking horizon alt. Design, bro, you're a pro, and I love you, man. But again, you could have lifted right there, and you could have just ulted. You could have thrown this team. You could have you could have controlled what this team does as you're getting in damage. Horizon. Oh, Design locks himself into this position, and now there's just nothing for him to do. What the fuck, man? Oh my god! We're driving the fucking SQ, man! Uh, I'm gonna fucking retire. Oh, bro, what the fuck is this guy Timmy doing, bro? It's not what is Timmy doing. One, yeah, Timmy shouldn't, obviously Timmy shouldn't have gone down, but two, Design, bro, you're doing nothing. You're doing nothing, bro. I can't talk shit. I, like, Design's way better than I am. His aim and his game sense is 100% better than me. He's, he's popped off more than I have. But at the same time, right, pros make mistakes, and that's what we're looking for here. And we're looking for good plays, too. You said Design, bridge clip. I'm going to find a bridge. I'm going to do act an activity. It's not nice. It's not nice. Mm -hmm. Please? As soon as we climbed up to the building, you said they're on Crafter. One is on Crafter. No one was on Crafter. They already crossed the bridge. It was right? the Bangalores. Yes, I caught her. I caught her. She didn't even shoot you, bro. I was the Bangalore. She was on the Crafter. She was. Watch my bot. I killed her. You died to the Horizon because you wide swung the fucking building. Are you are you serious you said, right now? But you said you said he's at the left hills. You don't you saw him go bro. to the building. You could have said that he. I'm gonna to the fucking building. leave. There's no way you fucking think that the, that is not. That's, that's literally exactly what I just said, dude. It's exactly what I just said. None of the players were where Design said they were. Timmy went to go take a fight, and Design was just like standing there with his dick in his hand. Your fault. That you didn't call him, that he went to the building? Nah, dude, that Design, that's 100% your fault. fault. Like, I'm expecting he's at the pill. For sure, bro. Hello? Yeah. My bad, let me play Bloodhound so you can have perma wall hacks. Like, you have a fucking voice, you can use it. Like, hello? I can't ESP to me. I cracked the kid you fucking 90. He moved. The building, you fucking idiot. You shot him through the building. You could have said he's in the building. Hello? Dude. Like. Timmy's not letting it slide. Design quits. Holy fuck. You see, Evan. You know you have to deal with me sometimes, but. You know, you could also be possibly dealing with design. Could be worse, right? Oh my god. I I hope that wasn't a tournament. If design quit in a tournament, bro, cringe. I think they're getting uh, feeded on. Alright, clip from Linkser. We're gonna counter feed. Okay. I'm ready to feed. Okay, hit this. Oh dude, that is so cool. What app is this? Or like what plugin is this? You you set your teammates like pictures up as like their voice icons and whenever they talk it highlights. That's so cool. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Hit it on him. Under pump, nice. That didn't even look like Holy it connected. Fuck, dude. They got annihilated. Now, that wasn't a bad clip, but it's also not a great clip. Something that I try to highlight to everyone is that reacting is always going to be harder than acting, right? Or aggressors always win and defenders always lose. And the reason why is because, one, if you're defending or if you're reacting to something that's happening around you, you don't really know what's going to happen. The guy could swing left. He could swing right. He can come up, down, behind, in front of you. He could come from below you. Like, you have no idea what's going to happen or how he's going to do it. Wall jump, tap strafe, super glide, super jump. There's so many different ways. Horizon alt, right? Like, horizon lift, ash alt, ash tether. There's so many things that can happen that you can't control.
But when you're the one that's doing it, you have almost full control of the situation. And that's... May, this maybe isn't a phenomenal example of this, right? But it is still a really good example of how acting is always better than reacting. Because in this situation here, they're going to take the lift, right? Or they're going to take the balloon. And as they hit themselves off, they're going to fall down with their gun in their hand. This team has no idea that this full three stack is going to hit off the wall, land on them with guns, and then instantly push them. Okay, hit this. Hit this, hit this, hit this. Land on them. Cap strafes back into cover, keeps his body moving. Boom. Boom. They just have no idea that's gonna happen, and it's just- it's so hard to play against. They got annihilated. What they could have done, is as soon as the team landed, they could have bunkered up almost, kind of in that wall, and just played a little safer. Again, you just- you, you have no idea, like, what's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen. Another great example make those plays now realistically that team one should have heard that there was you know an evac tower right next to them that was getting used and two they should have heard them actually taking the like the evac tower and writing the zip line up i don't know why they weren't looking for that that was kind of i was a little weird probably like a silver team that got put into this master lobby which is kind of the theme of ranked now which is one of the reasons why i haven't been playing ranked Wait, right but again if you're the one making those plays you know what's happening i think they just called out too there's a team sliding down there's a team pushing us one, if you sit and you react to this play, you don't know how they're going to push you. But if this team is pushing and you peek them, you aggress them, you kind of counter their push with your own push, not only are you kind of balancing out the they're pushing you so they have that advantage, but now you're pushing them so now it's a fair fight. But again, you're giving yourself the chance to kind of create a play that you can use to control the situation that's happening. So if something is happening and you're not ready to take the fight, back off. If you are ready to take the fight, you have ammo, you have loot, you have shields, you have health, make a play against their play. Cut, 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 cut. Back to the loon, back to the Okay. Oh, are they gonna evac behind them? 500 IQ. 500 IQ. Fuck okay, them weak! Push that. Nice. That team was gonna push them, and they, they kind of were like, Oh, nope, Uno reverse card, and they pushed them instead. That was huge. Really good play right there yeah, from the here. boys. Oh my god, the beams on mouse and keyboard too. You know that he lives in Kovacs. He lives on Kovacs. Knock one. Noko. Go, Noko. Push, Shout push, out push, Noko push. hopping into my boy's TikTok stream the other day. No, XOXXR. 130. Good beam. Back off. Again, right? You notice how... Knock. Nice. You notice how all of these pros, while they're doing damage, they go back into cover, they keep their health up, and then they instantly re-engage. They swing back out. They make another play. So again, it's all about you need to be the one that makes a peek, reset that fight, go back into cover, and then re-peak that fight. Be the first one to always shoot. Be the first one to always go back into cover. Be the first to always shoot. Be the first to go back into cover. Oh my god. Great play from Noko. I'm actually gonna like back that up because that was actually really, really good. Flash, 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 flash. Right, push off your damage. Whenever you're winning, make sure you're moving up instantly. Moves in. Damage. 130. Cover. Re-engage. Damage. Knock. Cover, re-engage. Oh my oh. god. Great play from Noko. TSM Verhulst. Oh, Verhulst is cable. actually really good at vert. He's really good at throwing verticals. I cracked two on the right. No way. I cracked all three. I cracked all three. Kill no one, way. Kill one. one more. Oh my god. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> if he hit full wipe with all nades, that would have been nasty. Kobe. Baller. Yup. I was he right there. Oh, they probably swung from behind. Good damage. Back off. Reset. Take yourself out of a bad fight. Now, something that you notice with pros is that they are always looking to be putting in damage. Like, right here. Right? Like, Jen, he isn't just going to sit and wait to see what happens. He's going to make sure that he's putting himself in a scenario where he can be fighting and taking advantage of what's happening. He's always looking to be putting in damage. And again, we see this a lot with pros. We see this very little with people who are like diamond and below. We even see this sometimes like not that much with master players. 
right? We need to make sure that we are always looking to be trying to get damage, even if it may not be something that we're going to inherently like push off of, right? But if we can always be doing something, we're going to give ourselves the opportunity to maybe go and take that fight, to maybe go and push. But if you do nothing because you don't want to fight or you're scared, you're not going to have an opportunity to maybe advance on a team and go push them. Right, but by always pushing, you give yourself the chance to do that. Right here. Use your cover. Make sure that you can put yourself into safety. Right, right. Safety. Now, now he can walk up for free. And if it's not working, he's playing a skirmisher like Rev. He can just back off whenever he wants. Good damage. Fighting on height, I think. You have an evac. Ready? Hey, go, go. Get an evac or a few up here. Play your cover or play close to. Juicer. Juicer. Keep the pressure. Always be shooting, always be moving up. Always be pushing off your damage. Always be pushing forward off of it. Whenever you hit shots, people want to look away. Which means that there's no pressure on you if you start walking up. Oh, Juicer. Why was he not full health on red? Oh, but that guy had a gold helmet and red shield. Oh my god. Nasty. Crazy aim. All three on me. Bang one. Bang really nice. Oh my god. He just hit a double headshot collat? You're just hard challenging right out in the open, dude. You have cover right next to you. That would that right there is a great example of when people ego challenge. And I do that a lot, right? Like a lot of the time, especially when you're, you know, an above average player, you think to yourself, okay, I can just like do what I want. And a lot of the time it doesn't really work out the way that you want it to. Great example right here, right? You have the ability to play cover, peek, shoot, do damage, go back and keep up your health, make him waste ammo. Peek, shoot, do damage, go back into cover, make him waste ammo. And then push up really hard with all the damage that you put in. Right? In this situation right here, you're just out in the open. So it's going to come down to who hits the most shots or who has the better gun or who has the better shield or who has the biggest or smallest hitbox. Right now you're playing Pathfinder, a fridge of a legend on white shield. And you just get pissed on. Yup. It was Max. That's funny. Nice, good backup, good recover. Looking to be putting in damage again. Recover, re-engage. Damage. Keep the pressure. Nice. Another amazing example of how you need to be peeking, and as you're getting damage, you're moving up, right? As you're going to take damage, you're moving back, right? Engage, disengage, engage to put in damage, disengage to keep up your health, rinse and repeat. And then you're just always doing damage and you're never really getting hit. And this is something that we never see with lower level players. They might be doing damage, but they stay in the fight and they don't take themselves out as much as they should. And then they take damage themselves. On me, boys. Hey, where are you at? Blood, blood. Two breaks. Three breaks. Everyone just hit for 150, 150, 150. That's awesome. Oh, fuck. Nasty. Two beams. Oh, how did you not get that kill? And he's behind a wall. Welcome to Apex Legends, where we play on fucking one tick servers oh dude Daltouche, dude Dal i i honestly feel like one Daltouche is gonna quit apex soon or two he's just gonna have a mental breakdown on stream one day i feel like every single time i see a Daltouche clip recently it's either him raging at like how bad the game is or that's actually it he's just the only rages at the game dude Daltouche just has not been having fun recently he needs to, i think i feel Bro, he's, he's literally breaking his microphone right now. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy now. You ready? We're yes. skipping a lot today. You have to kill them all. I will, I will, I will. For you, for you. Of course. 
simp. Oh my god. Such a simp, bro. Keep it in your pants, G-Snake. Oh, I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Oh, no. Yeah, that's what they all say, you liar. All right. So that's gonna be uh, that's the close for today, I guess. Now, if you guys want to see, if you guys want to continue to see content like this, where we kind of break down what players are doing right, what players are doing wrong, make sure to one hit like and subscribe, obviously, so that YouTube knows you want to continue to see more, and so that YouTube shows you more. And two, if you like really want to continue to develop your skills in Apex, we actually do this sort of thing, but in person in our Discord server where you can sit down with me and we as a group share our clips and discuss, you know, what we could have done better in these types of situations. We've been doing this for about the last two to three months now. Um, I think actually maybe even more than that. It's it's honestly a phenomenal way to get better. We've seen tons of people in our Discord server go from being hard stuck to, you know, reaching their master. And, you know, we've actually had some people hit Predator, reach their goals. And we're noticing people continue to develop their skills and really go from, you know, not really being as active as they should and continuously putting in more damage, going from putting in, you know, sub 2K games to putting in 2K, 3Ks, and even sometimes 4K games. So if you guys want to check that out, consider joining. Um, link will be in the description down below. It's on our website. Subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Later.